Um, Kathy, I'll send it. Well, so good evening, everyone. Hello, remote people. So we are getting ready to do the, uh, the uh, Cuba review night, answering questions and all that kind of stuff. So I want to introduce our partner in crime, Mary. Mary, come on up. This is Mary Drobny. So she and I have been doing Cuba together for the last 10 years. Um, Mary's an amazing person. She is um, American by birth and half Cuban by <laughs> drinking rum. Yes. So, all right, here's the, here's the thing that was not on your quiz. What do they call rum in Cuba? Rum. How, what does it look like when you see it written? R-O-N. R-O-N, rum. Exactly right. So that's rum. Exactly. So we'll start with the quiz. Who has their quiz? Yes, sir. All right. So there is a prize for the winner of the quiz contest. So please take it, put a pencil, so this is just like third grade in Catholic school. <laughs> so what American credit cards work in Cuba? None. 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 Oh, Very good. It says what credit cards work in Cuba. I know, I know. Cuba. Okay, so what credit cards are... Not USA. Not USA, yeah, yeah. So if you have a Euro card or a Canadian card, oh. it may or may not work. What cell phones work in Cuba? Cuban, Cuban cell phones, correct, or none. May so, may, so what's going on with with cell phones, Mary? If you have T-Mobile or AT&T and Verizon, Verizon not all the time, you will can receive text. But you think you're sending a text, you cannot send a text. It never, they, they never get it, even though the phone company says you can do it. Okay. Also, it's about, you can call from your U.S. phone to the U.S. It's about 260, 280 a minute. So it's expensive. And on the other end, if they call you, it's just about the same price. So what I do is I will do um, voice, um, a FaceTime audio from the hotel with the Wi-Fi. Hello, Leticia, how are you? Flash is up front. I mean, uh, yes, Flash is up front. Yeah, can you use WhatsApp? Yeah, uh, yeah okay. absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. If, so, but the problem is the internet, the Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi, right? Which is small Wi-Fi, right? So it doesn't go very good, okay? Yeah, go ahead. And your hotel, you do have Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. You buy uh, time, and it's only good at your hotel. They've changed the system. The oh, hotel, they have. The hotels keep getting people hanging on in the lounges, and so your cards, uh, if you have a card, you, it'll work other places, but the hotel will sell, sell, sell you time. It's a dollar an hour. Or it used to be $8 out. an hour, yeah. so it's, it's come way down. And you used to watch it spin, 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 and you never got connected, and there yeah. went your money. Yeah. But at the, I was just there for a month, and I was at the Hotel Sevilla. That's where I go to use the Wi-Fi, and it was very good. Good. Awesome. And we just, So you just sit down in the lobby, you order a drink from the bar, and you do whatever internet you're going to do. Okay? So the Cuban international currency is the... Cook. The peso is the domestic currency. Yep. So, so one one U.S. dollar is equal to one cook. Now, the problem is that we are Americans are charged a 13 percent penalty because we are converting inferior American dollars into superior Cuban socialist currency, right? So. Mark, is it better if you use euros? Like, would it be worth it to buy euros? Yeah. So, so um, Donna, our professional banker in the group, was doing research on this, and what is the answer to the question, should you buy euros or Canadian dollars to convert those to cooks? So the, the, pro the problem is if you do 
if you do current, every time you switch currencies, you pay a fee. So I just take it in the shorts and take the 13% and do it. Yeah. Right. So if you do that, so if you have euros, if you have a bunch of euro at home, if you have a bunch of Canadian dollars at home, you can take those and and can and change those. It's not as easy. Everybody wants dollars right now, so we're leaving tips. We're paying bar tabs in uh, dollars. Okay. So that is the sought after currency, American and the dollars. Canadian American dollars. American dollars. And the Canadian and euros fluctuate, and it's not. And people don't want them. <laughs> but you can take them to, at our hotel, they will change them for you to CUC at the going rate of whatever the, the government says. Correct. Do they and have to be newer? All bills need to be new. They, oh. they all have to be new. If you have a torn bill, they won't take it. No, 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 no. You, so. If you, if you read in the thing, you need to bring crisp, fresh, $100 bills that look like this with the magnetic stripe on them. Anything else will not convert. And you'll get change in cuts, right? No, you're going to get change. You, so no, you have to, you cannot pay for these on, you cannot pay with this on the street. Oh, okay. So you're going to go to the bank or you're going to go to the hotel and you're going to convert this to CUC. One for one. One for, no, you're going to get 87 cooks for $100. Same with Canadian, right? Correct, but if it's not, if it's torn, if it's wrinkled, they will not take it. Okay. But since you said they like US dollars and you want little chips, should we bring some? Yeah, the, the uh, bar, bartenders, bellhops, um, artists, they're very, much into dollars and at the printmaking studio it's one for one a dollar for a CUC if the price says 50 it's CUC or 50 dollars correct so you could just give them American yes and yeah and ones it doesn't matter doesn't matter, matter. Right. right and they don't want but they, they again want fresh it has to be not dirty you know so I always before I go on a trip like this I always go to the bank and get fresh money okay if you're not going to be buying anything, $500 each. If you want to buy artwork, artwork can be hundreds or thousands of dollars if you want to spend that. Now, at the two big artists we're going to, they will take credit cards because they have bank accounts in the United States. So they're just going to write down your credit card number they're going to come here, they're going to run your credit card in Miami, right? But you can buy from them. But if you're buying art at the, at the at a gallery or at the, the printmaking studio at the Taller, there you have to pay in, in either CUC or American dollars. Now, I always bring $3,000, $4,000. Why? Because I don't want to be cut out of money. If somebody needs money and needs to borrow money, I try to have a little enough extra to get by. No, and also many of the artists, like I just, when I went back in January, I brought several thousand dollars to pay for the art that already left the country with the person that bought it, who I didn't know, but they sent me a check, I cashed it, and I took the money to the artist that I knew. So, and that kind of stuff, it works, we don't worry about that, okay? So, the Cuban people are paid in pesos. Is it 30 or 28 pesos to the cook? 25. 25 pesos. It, but see, so that's a part of the problem with doing a quiz like this, Kathy. The answers are not, right? It depends on which site you go to to find your answers. So, 25 pesos per cook. Always make sure the places we go, it's not an issue. We've had issues in the past when you're in small town, off to the side street, that you will pay in cook and they will give you back change in peso, right? What? Well, no, but they just ripped you off. 
you know, because you, 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 know, you gave them 10, you need five back. They give you back five pesos, which is right. I mean, you can't even wipe your butt with five pesos. <laughs> Uh, you don't take it. You say, please, cooks. Yeah, okay. Right, so you see. Or buy a piece of pizza. With or buy a piece of pizza. Or, or buy a Coke, right? So who discovered Cuba? Christopher Columbus, right? So what name will he be called in Cuba? Cristobal Colon. Very good. The Spanish spelling of Christopher Columbus. Very good. So, you know, so people say, so who is this Cologne guy, right? Because his name is where? Everywhere. Everywhere, right? Are we going to ne uh, Necropolis? Uh, we don't have a plan at the moment. Okay, but, but okay. We'll drive right. by. It. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, um, and this is one where there's a variable, number of variable answers. In what war did Cuba gain independence from Spain? The Spanish-American War is the correct answer. So. If you look at a Cuban side, it'll say the Ten Years' War, which is their name, right? But it's the, at the end of the Spanish-American War, Spain lost influence over Cuba. The Philippines, it was 1902 was the Treaty in, of Paris? 1890. Yeah, it depends on who you're talking about. <laughs> you're right. So, so the, the Spanish, when did the Spanish-American War start? 1898, right? And what was the, what started the Spanish-American War? First, yellow. Yellow journalism, remember, blowing up the Maine and Havana Harbor, right? Yes, so that started the Spanish-American War. So who was Jose Marti? Philosopher. Right, so he was writer, poet, philosopher, he kind of got the first Cuban War of Independence going. And what is his, what was remarkable about him? About his death? Is anybody reading how he died? So the first battle of the, of the war with Spain for Cuban independence, this was in 1895? Yeah. He rides out into battle on a white horse wearing a suit. And what do the Spanish guys do? He was the first one shot. Boom, dead, right? <laughs> yeah. And so now he's super famous for being an idiot. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> he's also considered the hero of the country, and every school has a bust a pit, of yes, his head yes, everywhere. So if you see everywhere. Him, his head, it's a school. Right, and that's, he, he's, the airport we land at is Jose Marti Airport. So, so who was Bautista? Correct. Well, he's most famous from being the dictator that the revolution deposed, right, in 1959. So the revolution succeeded in 1959. Fidel Castro's most famous compadre was? Che Guevara. Che Guevara. Very good. Fidel's, Fidel Castro was educated as a? Lawyer. Lawyer. Very good. Does anybody know what Che Guevara was educated as? He was, a, he was a physician, correct. Fidel's favorite pastime was? Baseball. What? Baseball. <laughs> Not cigars. No. So the Cuban special period is? So after the collapse of the Soviet Union, so Cuba had built up a industrial farming base with the help of the Soviets, big tractors, uh, diesel fuel, regular commercial fertilizer. Soviet Union collapses, doesn't have the money to, to send to Cuba anymore. So Cuba's left with all these tractors that they don't have parts or gasoline. They don't have fertilizer. So they go back and relearn organic donkey, goat, uh, uh, ox-fed farming. So one of the cool things about Cuba is I love it. The food is all fresh. It's all farm to table. It's all organic because they farm the old fashioned way because they were forced to do that during the special period, mm -hmm. right? And so Mary, if we have, we're gonna be on the bus, you're gonna show the video, right? Yeah. 
So there's a, a really cool video on the special period on how they, I mean, the country almost starved to death, right? And then, so they went from these bigger farms to family-owned farms. It was really, it's really a cool story. Uh, what profession is Cuba most famous for and exports throughout the world? Doctors. Doctors, yes. So when I was in Africa, they took us to see the local doctor because some of us needed to, So we're going to take you to the Cuban doctor because it's special to go to a Cuban doctor. Yes, exactly. Pardon me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they have a big medical school on the island? Lots of big medical schools. They have a medical school on the island. Yeah. And one of their biggest exports is doctors. Yeah. Our doctors. Our, yes. So what Oscar winning movie featured the revolution as part of the story? Godfather. Godfather 2. Godfather Part 2. So which late night comic aired a satirical visit to Cuba? Conan. Yeah, Conan. Very good. A Cuba Libra is a cocktail. cocktail. And the ingredients of the Cuba Libra are, and their significance are, rum, rum, rum coke, and lime. And ice. Independence. So the rum is for Cuba, the coke is for America, and the lime is for the tears and suffering of the Cuban people. So, how many of you missed five or less? All right, three or less? Four? Three? Th missed three? Missed two? So Kelly, how many did you miss? Two plus, I didn't get the represent part. I just put the ingredients. So oh, that's the three. bonus question. That's the tiebreaker. <laughs> but I and, got the... Anybody miss, anybody miss less than three? All right, so Kelly, you get, because we cannot get Cuban rum. It is rum. It is rum. Come on, Mary. Right? So you guys will get to see right around the corner from our hotel is the Bacardi building. And it has the bat on the roof. And why is it the former Bacardi building? The former? Mm-hmm. Because they used to make rum in Yeah, they fled in 1960 and went to Puerto Rico to make their rum there because they didn't want to be taken over by the government. And the building's there. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful building, but there you go. Ron Superior. They drink all in one drink. So um, you guys better get used to drinking rum because that's what they drink. And so we will be greeted at every dinner and lunch with usually a mojito. And so I know, Mary Jane, you're like, oh, I can't bring it on. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> so and we're going to have a great time. It's awesome. What will they bring a fortune Coke? Coke? No, they'll bring them a, they'll bring them a, 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 a mojito. It's, it's, yeah, exa I don't know. Is there a drinking age in Cuba? Yeah, they say it's uh, 16, I think. But she looks Nobody cares. Your daughter looks like she's 32. So, <laughs> um, Does anybody have any questions before? I have a little presentation to share. Yes. I, I missed the... Yes, Chris. Sure I have the mobile cell phone information correct. So what's the answers to that? There's none, right? No. You may be able to get texts. <laughs> you cannot go out. So the answer to that is FaceTime video, probably not. FaceTime audio, maybe. WhatsApp, maybe. From the hotel with Wi-Fi. Okay. Right? Communication would Is, so communication is spotty at best. Mary has a Cuban cell phone. If anybody has an emergency that needs to call out, 
but it's, you know, it's $3 a minute each way from the United States to Cuba. So my Cuban cell phone, I, I thought I had more cards with me, but I don't. I'll give these you know what? out. Just, it's, in, it's in the packet. Oh, Her okay. cell phone number is in the packet. And they, you can use that for emergencies. And right. I always have my phone with me. Right. They can call you? Yeah, yes, they can call, call me. Mary. Yeah, call, if there's an emergency. You did say, though, if you have AT&T as your carrier, you can, you can text. I mean, you can get you, text. You can get text. Okay. You cannot respond. Okay. It looks like you're responding, but nothing's happening. Yeah. Does it's, it get a Cuban phone? No, we're not allowed. Oh. Okay. You can't get a, you can't buy a SIM card and put an unlocked phone. That's not allowed. So. Is there email from hotel? Yes, you can, you can. There's Wi-Fi in the hotel. Yeah. And it's spotty, slow, you know. So it's an hour for me to read my email at night and upload one picture to Facebook. That's an hour. Just uh, just emergency stuff, really. It is what it is, but not much. Come on, Mary. So do you recommend that you just put our phone in airplane mode? I would put your phone in airplane mode and use, use you know, if you want to take some pictures or videos with it. When you get to the hotel, we can turn it on and connect to the Wi-Fi, yada, yada, yada. Okay? Does anybody have any questions? Is that not, is the phone is the number not right, Cheryl? Yeah, there's a correction on the phone. They've made some changes. Oh, so send so, me. So yeah, it's five three five two eight five five eight one. You don't send, need this. No, 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 no. I'll send, send it to, okay. send it to me, and I'll send it to everybody. Okay. Because remember, only half the group is here. That's right. So you guys got email today, where the group is down one. So there is an opening for either a single or a couple. If anybody knows anybody that wants to join us, so um, questions. Yes. Yep. Yep. We're going to do all that. So we can give this Mary's number to our family just in case they need to get a hold of us. Okay. And so they can call in. They can call Mary on the Cuban number. Mary, you can call back to them on Mary's phone. Okay. But it's this. This is for emergencies. No, no, I understand. Mm -hmm. Right. So the house burnt down. Where's the cat? How do we find out if? Um, So as far as as far as the coronavirus goes, Mary and I have talked about this. The only reason we won't be able to go is if the if Cuba says Americans are no longer welcome, and the chances of that happening, I think, are slim and none, because Cuba would then have to give us our money back, and the last thing that Cuba is going to do is give us our money back. Right, Mary? They don't give anything back. No, they don't give anything back. So, we're, we're I mean, 99.9% .9 we're going. Yeah. Um, there's no reason why the United States would not let us back in because Cuba has zero cases right now of corona. All of us will be tested at the airport, so we'll get a forehead scan at the airport, and you may not even know it. In Havana, as you're so, let's talk about Havana Airport, right? I will not be with you. I will be there the day before. So what's hap What happens is, so you guys will land in in Fort Lauderdale. Some of you will be there the night before. Some of you will stagger off the red eye, get to the next line. Going to Cuba is a little bit of an ordeal. So there's extra stamping on the paperwork and yada, da, 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 da. you're going to need to show your visa and all this kind of stuff to get on the airplane. It's not hard. It's just, Glorious. yeah, and it may take the full three hours to get you through. There's enough room to make the flight. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of room to make the flight. This is your, um, everybody will get a packet. Tonight. Everybody that's here, yes. Yes, yeah. And inside will be your visa for travel. Also, there's going to be your health form that's required. And there's a little nurse and doctor after you you go through immigration at the Havana Airport. Mm -hmm. And then you have an x-ray machine and this, you know, a metal detector to walk through. And then before you get your bags, there's a little doctor desk, a nurse desk. And they take this form. You know, sometimes people say, they didn't take my form. Well, 
You're supposed to, but we're ready to have this form out yourself. And you have to fill it out. Yeah. yeah. Usually, we have filled out everything for you, but we usually put no, 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 and you haven't visited any other countries. But since Mark was traveling and this whole thing with the virus, we are letting you do it. Fill that out. Also, we filled out your, um, this is your customs form, and this is the last thing you give over before you exit the baggage claim area. And they ask you, you know, your, uh, how much money you're bringing, you're not bringing anything illegal, you, you're not bringing anything, um, gifts or donations, no, nothing. So on these forms, you always answer no. no. Yeah. Right. And you're telling them you're bringing in $1,000, yeah. no matter how much you're bringing. So everybody got so, that? You got that, guys? So okay. when you get to Fort Lauderdale and you're at your gate, there is a little lectern, a little desk that says Cuba ready. And you take your visa and your passport over there and your boarding pass and they stamp your boarding pass to say Cuba okay. And they'll also have little piles of this and they'll offer it to you, but you're okay. We've already done the work for you. You don't have to worry about this. So put all this, put this stuff with your passport and you need to keep this paper with your passport. That's the visa. That's the visa. You're going to need this to get out. So please don't lose it. Are going to need two passport photos? No. So you need, so you'd only need that if you're going to get a Visa, 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 this is just a paper thing. I always have two passport photos and a copy of my passport hidden in my luggage in case something were to happen to your passport. So like Mary said, you're gonna get in, the airport's gonna land, you're gonna walk down the stairway, you're gonna walk into the terminal and you'll immediately go through immigration. There'll be a bunch of kiosks, a bunch of things, and you just line up and get in the one and they stamp your passport, they take your picture. Do they do thumbprints there? No, no not there. Okay, but anyhow, then you go through and then there'll be the nurse with another metal detector. Then you'll go get your luggage and then you go through a metal detector with your luggage and customs as you leave the airport. And then you'll come outside and there'll be a million people and I'll be there with Mary and our bus driver. So Manuel and Abel or Manuel and Rossiel? We've gotten a 44 passenger bus. Good. For with, everybody, with Abel. Abel and Manuel. Yeah, we decided awesome. 44 passenger because all you got, got these precious cameras that you need to put yes. the seat next to you. Right, so anyhow. Oh, that's mine. That's yours. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so that's how it'll be. So then they'll pick us up at the airport at nine o'clock. We'll drive to the hotel, drop our stuff, freshen up, and then have our first day in Havana. And so my, our goal for that day is we're gonna walk because you guys are gonna be jet lagged and you're gonna feel like crap. And the best way to beat that is to walk. Be out in the sun, walk, do our thing. What time do we arrive? Just a little like correction. We, are, we have a full day before we can get to the uh, Oh really, hotel. we don't get to ho go to the hotel? No, the okay. rooms won't be ready. So we okay. are going to be touring El Moro and like oh, a cool. fort. Oh, you'll love that. We're going to uh, go to lunch at a place, a, pa a private restaurant called Paladar Barbara. And then we're going to have another stop. Oh, before that at the Plaza of the Revolution. And then finally about three o'clock, we can get into the hotel a little early. Usually it's four, but they told me they'd, and I'll keep bugging them okay. about getting the rooms ready. Yeah, bags are just gonna be in the bus. And yeah. there's a restroom on the bus if you need. Restrooms are easy. Restrooms, you need a Cuban quarter to go because there's a guy or a gal at the restroom. So as you're making, buying stuff, save a pocket full of quarters. American quarters? No, Cuban quarters. Yeah. You, can, you can use American quarters, we right? We don't really want it because you okay. can't change You can't change a quarter. And okay. when it, we'll, we will have been to the bank before we start going to the restroom. <laughs> Um, you're taken care of the first day. Don't yeah, worry about yeah, it. Yeah, don't worry about that. And so there is no difference in changing money, whether it's at the bank, currency exchange, or at the hotel. It's all the same. So we just do it at the hotel. Okay? Right. So are we paying for their lunch the first day? It's included, yeah. Okay, I good. I just swapped it out for a dinner. Okay, cool. So. Do you recommend we convert all the money in the beginning or wait 
No. Do $100 at a time. And so the other thing that's not included are tips. So you're going to need to leave a, a cook 